guys, welcome to today's video and today I thought we would have some fun with the guinea pigs. We are going to do floor time down in the living room for a full day. So they're gonna have access to the full room for an extended period of time and I'm gonna be as hands off as possible. Obviously some supervision is needed to make sure everything's safe for them. But for the most part, I'm gonna leave them to it and see what they get up to throughout the course of the day. with a fairly simple setup down here. It's definitely not a human free zone. We are both going to be using the room. By the way, yes, I do have a rather excessive amount of plants going on right now. <laughs> One of the essentials for setting up this room is this. All it is is a simple hamster playpen. I use it to cordon off a section of the room that I don't want them to get to. I say a section of the room, what I mean is the sofa. The sofa is like heaven for guinea pigs. They just want to get underneath it, stay underneath it and never ever come out. So this is a simple solution to that. I just put it around the edge of the sofa. Fortunately it fits perfectly and stops any guinea pigs disappearing into a sofa black hole. As for the rest of the setup, this just includes the other stuff the guinea pigs need throughout the day. So I'm gonna pop their litter box, water bowl, their pellet bowl and apart from that they've just got a few tunnels and hideys scattered throughout the room. <laughs> Your cage is looking quite empty now, isn't it? Where's everything gone? So Pedro, being a male, is naturally a little more confident and happy to explore than the others, but that's good because he encourages them to come out and have a look for themselves. Time for some gimbal action. What have you been up to in here then? We're all loitering around the hay box still. And Lyra's out! Yay! Hi sweetheart! Are you having a little explore? <laughs> so for anyone that's new to the channel, Lyra is my senior piggy. She is seven years old, so she's quite elderly. She has a few health problems. I know she doesn't look as healthy as the others, but please don't think that she's not well looked after. She is definitely very well loved and very well looked after. As she's much older than the others, we don't expect her to do much exploring, but it is really nice to see her out and about. Got some more serious exploring underway. All three of them on an expedition over there. me then. I've been upstairs for a while and left the guinea pigs to it. This is sort of their least active period of the day really. Oh well we can see there's been some mess. This is why I put the liner down but they're only poos so we'll let them off. Lyra's is just chilling out in here. It's all fairly quiet and quite peaceful down here. What's happening Vivi? It's existential crisis time. Oh bless. <laughs> 
We've got the sun, the afternoon sun starting to come in and Lyra is just basking in it. And don't worry, it is still very cold in the UK at the moment, so there's no chance she's going to get too warm. Just talking about it being cold in the UK still, <laughs> we have had a bit of a reshuffle. I've just brought the liner and the hay room over here, away from the radiator, because I have just put the heating on, so I don't want them going down the side of it when the radiator is quite warm. So Lyra, sorry you're not in the sun anymore, but you're also sort of buried in the hay, so I don't think you mind really. Are preparing food. Hello. You have to come in here if you want something. Mm, we don't like the kitchen, do we? of flavoured coffees, I really recommend trying this Littles brand. I've gotten a little bit obsessed with them. They do a Christmas one that's really good as well, but right now I'm quite liking this chocolate orange one. Okay, so it's a bit later on in the day now. I am totally chilling out here in my dressing gown. And it was kind of strange. We had some tea down here, watched some TV for the entire, maybe an hour and a half. The guinea pigs were just totally like in a stupor. They were asleep basically. Pedro and Roxy were in the hay and Lyra was in her tunnel. And weirdly, now the sun is starting to go down a bit. It's getting a bit darker outside. They are coming to life again. Having said that, they're not moving about much at the moment. <laughs> But they were exploring a minute ago when I was making my brew. That was everyone except for this one, Phoebe. I can't even... Hang on a minute. <laughs> There's two. <laughs> Phoebe, Pedro, I wondered where you'd gone. So Phoebe has a thing for going under furniture. As we had already established with the sofa, there's also these sort of poofs. Is that what you call them? <laughs> that we use in the living room. And you're teaching Pedro bad things by encouraging him to go under as well. Come on. Now oh, you've pooed under there as well, great. Pedro. Oh, guinea pig drink. So curious. No, sorry, you've... <laughs> You've had yours. Look at Phoebe. <laughs> Phoebe, what are you doing under there again? Piggies who stay under there don't get treats. Well, 
Well, we only got a tiny bit of zoomies from Phoebe, but it was still a fun day to be out all day long. We're definitely ready for bed now and ready to go back in the cage. Not too sure about Pedro though. He really loves being out and about. <laughs>